inside your My Language Lab course. The majority of our titles include their own specific online testing activities. These are separate testing activities that correlate to the chapters being covered in the textbook you're using inside your My Language Lab course. To create an online test, you'll have a My Test tab on the top of the page. Click My Tests to access the online testing materials. On the left-hand side, you'll have access to the online testing content specific to the textbook that you're using. You can open and browse this content at any time. You're able to preview and listen to any of the listening activities that are embedded inside the test that your students would hear, and you can scroll through and look at any of the different testing activities. If an activity would require your grading, you'll see the name Instructor Graded written across above the direction line. The testing activities in each chapter will include some machine graded and some instructor graded activities. And some instructor graded activities may include the voice recording capability to record your students and test their speaking skills. Other instructor graded activities will be more of a free response. When you're ready to create your online test, the first step is to click Create New Test over on the right-hand side. This right-hand side area is your area for your customization of your test you're creating, or quiz. Click Create New Test and name your test. The next step is very important. When it asks you to select the activity type, you must choose Test. This will ensure that your test will be set up to the default test set preferences that we have set up for you inside your course in the Global Preferences area. Also, if you decide to change or, or save new test preference settings, this will also be applied to the test you create inside My Test. Click Save and Close, and now you'll see the name of your test appear in the area on the right. The goal now is to look through the online testing content on the left, select activities, and we're going to add them to the test area on the right. Anything listed in the box on the right will be included in your test. Click a chapter to open it. When you have an activity you wish to add to your test, you can select the box next to the name of the activity. And you can continue to look through the test and select as many activities at one time that you would like. Once you are done selecting the activities you wish to add, click the Add button in the middle. This will add all the activities you selected with a check mark on the left to the box on the right, which would include your test. There's one additional way you can add material to your test. If you see an activity you like and wish to add it, you also have a drag and drop feature. You can select the test just by clicking on it with your mouse, grabbing that test, hold your test Hold the mouse down and drag and drop the item over to the test box on the right and just let go with your mouse. That particular activity will now be added to your test. Just drag with your mouse, hold down, let go and drop. Once you have activities over on the right hand side, you may want to delete an activity. All you'll need to do is select the activity on the right Select the options arrow towards the top of the name of the activity and notice you'll have a delete option. This will remove the activity from your test but leave it inside the test bank on the left so if you wish to add it again to another test or this test you will have that ability. Choose delete and click OK. That activity will now be removed from your test. If you wish to remove a specific question from inside an activity you also have that option. Go to that specific question, and each question has its own option arrow. You can choose that specific option and click Delete. This will remove that particular question from the exam. The second very important step that you must remember when creating an online test is that once you've started creating a test and you're finished for that time being, you must click the Save button. The Save button will appear at the toolbar over on the right hand side where your test materials are. Choose Save and you'll have the option to save or save and close. Choose Save if you wish to keep your test open and you would like to continue working on it and save what you've done so far, or if you're done editing this test for the time being, choose Save and Close. You'll always be able to get back and re-edit a test at any time. 
This will close your test, but leave you inside the My Test area. Once you've saved your test, you will have access to that test and any other test you've created in the My Test area by this list right here. And at any time, you can go back and re-edit a test. Just simply choose the name of that test and you'll be able to reopen the test and edit and add new activities, delete activities, and also at any time, you have the ability to add your own activities that you would wish to create yourself. You can choose Create Question Group towards the top of the toolbar, and you can either create your own activity, which would include a direction line and multiple questions by choosing Create Question Group, or if you simply would just like to add one additional question to your test, choose from one of the drop downs below. Keeping in mind, they're all machine graded except for the essay type. This is where you'll be able to choose to enter a voice recording activity for your student or a free response that would be instructor graded. When you're done, always remember to click Save and Close. And as soon as you've saved your test, you can come back at any time and modify and edit your test. Also, if you wish to change the name of your test, each test name will have an options arrow next to it. Choose this option and you'll have the ability to rename the test. You can also copy the test, so if you wish to make a different version and maybe tweak a few items on that test, I would recommend creating a test first, saving it, and then coming to the options menu, choose copy, copy that test, rename that test, click save and close, and then open that copied new test version, and then you're able to edit and make additional changes to that version of the test. When you're done, always remember to choose Save. You may be wondering how you can access and assign your tests to your students. As soon as you click Save or Save and Close and save your test in the My Test tab, a version of your test is immediately saved inside your course materials area. Here is how you can find and locate your test. This step is the same for all of our 2012-2013 My Language Lab courses that have the My Test capability. To find your test, go to Course Materials, and all of your tests that you save in the My Test area will always be saved to a place in the library. So choose Add from Library, and from here, you'll have access to your Course Materials library, which is a backup library behind the scenes that your students do not have access to. The area on the right called My Course, think of this as your main course materials area where your content is automatically populated here and your students would have access to it if it was shown to them. The tests and quizzes you create on the My Test tab will never immediately appear in your course materials. Instead, they'll always be saved to a specific folder inside your library called the My Test folder. and will always be located on the left-hand side in the library. This folder is automatically provided to you and everything you create in My Test will immediately be saved inside this folder. Click on the name of the folder to open it and you'll have access to all the tests that you've created. From your library, you're able to hover your mouse over the test and choose an edit option and you'll have an options arrow to edit the test. This is where if you would like to set additional preferences for your test, including timing, a message to your students, change the number of times they're allowed to take the test, adjust any other test setting preferences, or add additional content to your test, or randomize and shuffle, all from this edit options. We have a separate tutorial video on how to customize and edit your test that you've created. You can also preview your test just by clicking on the name of the test will open up in a preview mode for your students as well. Or you can choose the options arrow and select preview. To get your test into your course materials area so you can assign it to your students and for them to access it when you're ready, you can simply select the test on the left and add it over into your course on the right. You are actually choosing where you'd like to place your test at this time. If you would like to have your test appear outside of any chapter, just simply click Add. This will also make the test column appear in your gradebook at the top level of your gradebook. If you'd rather have the test inside a specific chapter folder, click and open that chapter folder first 
and then click Add, and you'll be placing the test inside that specific chapter folder. This is also where you would then find those grades for your students once they take the test inside your gradebook. There is no right or wrong step here. You just have the wonderful capability to decide where you would like to have your test organized inside your course. Choose Add, and your test will be added into your course. Everything you add will always be at the bottom of the screen, and it will immediately be set to a hidden status so your students will not have access to it until you're ready for them to see it. There is one additional thing you can do when adding content over into your course. If you've created a large number of tests and quizzes and have not added them yet into your course area, when you're ready, you can actually add the entire folder of all the testing material at one time into your course. You will just select the name of the folder and click Add. And this will add the entire testing folder of tests that you've already created in your My Test area to your course immediately. This folder will always appear at the bottom of the list and it will be immediately also set to a hidden status. And when you open that folder, you'll have access to all the tests that you have already housed inside that folder. When you're ready to assign the test, as soon as you move these activities to the folder area on the right, you will have access to them as well from the Assignments Calendar tab. Go to Assignments Calendar, and depending on where you placed your test, when you moved it from the library to your course materials, go to where you have your test located. Find your test, and you're then able to select that test and then drag and drop it to a day on the calendar. Let go, and you have now just assigned your test to your students. Your students would then be able to access this test and complete it based on the settings and properties that you set up. And as soon as they completed it, their grade will be reported into your gradebook. Keep in mind, we do also have additional testing settings you can apply to your test. If you would like to set a proctor password or restrict access until a certain period of time or only have an availability range for your students to take the test, you can do so in the assignments calendar area by hovering your mouse over the name of the test and using the options arrow and choosing assignment properties. This will open up an area where you can then restrict availability, only make the item available to certain students if you choose, and have a series of advanced options, including setting a proctor password and delivering the test as a high stakes option, which would not allow the student to access any other area of their computer while taking the test. We'll have an additional video on more details on doing these certain settings of the assignment properties area. When you're done adjusting any settings, always remember to click Save to save your settings. You may be wondering where you'll find the grades for your students inside your gradebook. Well, wherever you decide to place your test inside the course, that's where you'll find the gradebook column for it. I have this particular Chapter 3 test list listed outside of any other chapter folders. And so when I go to my gradebook, I will have the Chapter 3 test located at the top of my gradebook column. If you'd rather have a folder housing all of your tests, you would add the entire My Test folder when you move the items from the library to your course materials, and notice you'll have a My Test folder, where then you can open that folder and you'll have access to any tests there. If you would like to review these steps in a printed format, we have, we have them documented in the user guide by clicking on the instructor toolbar. We have an area dedicated to My Tests. Notice Section 12, Online Tests and Quizzes. And you have different documents here walking you through how to create an online test and also how to deliver them, including how to set preferences and also the different ways you can restrict the availability of a test. These are all PDF documents, and you're able to print or download or save any of these documents or simply view them online. This concludes how to create an online test using the My Test Enhancement inside the 2012-2013 release.